Uh, some new research on something else, and that explores the connection between testosterone and prostate cancer. Now, there's some new evidence that high testosterone levels could potentially spread the growth of the disease. Dr. Samadhi, something else we've got to worry about. Eric, this is nothing to worry about, but this question okay. comes up in our practice all the time because more and more people are taking these testosterone supplements. So we just want them to be aware. And the relationship between testosterone and prostate cancer is always a gray zone. Even among urologists, there's no clear answer. Most research comes from Australia where they're trying to address this question. They found that the older men at the time of diagnosis of prostate cancer, they had higher level of testosterone. So this is an observational study, and maybe there's a relationship between testosterone and prostate cancer. Now, how do we treat very aggressive prostate cancers? We give them hormones that would bring down the level of testosterone to nothing. So this tells us that you've got to be cautioned. Now, doctors, they're very fast in giving these testosterone to patients. We have talked Without to, testing them we, to see we, their levels? Exactly right. So anytime they see someone that they have male menopausal symptoms, we've talked about this. Men that are gaining weight, they have low libido, they have low sexual function, they don't want to do anything, they have no interest. They say, maybe your testosterone is low. The answer is, check your testosterone twice in early in the morning, around 6 to 7, that's the peak of testosterone. Make sure you see your urologist to check the PSA and get a prostate I, exam before you get on these testosterone. How do you check your testosterone? Blood test. You get a blood test, okay. you talk to a urologist, I'm thinking about getting testosterone, should I or not? And if you have a family history of prostate cancer, be very cautious. That's yeah, all quick, I want quick, to When you get the thing from the doctors when you go, do, do they test your testosterone? You get the PSA number. No, the doctors are not going to check unless you okay. ask for it, especially now with the PSA controversy. It's not going to be there, but you can say, Dr. Samadhi said I need to know about my <laughs> okay. PSA. All right, Dr. Siegel. <laughs> I check both. In my office, I check both. I check testosterone and I check PSA. I believe in both. I think this is a pretty landmark study coming out of Australia that shows a direct connection, if not proof, between testosterone level being high in elderly people and increasing risk of them having prostate cancer. I tried to get Dr. Zoe Hyde, who was the author of the study, didn't get oh back to me, but they quoted <laughs> another prostate expert on this I found, Dr. David Samadhi, and he basically mm. thinks there's an important connection here, as he just told you, but that, but that it's not yet proof. But here's the point. Look at the holy grail here. If we're busy giving anti-androgens, like Casodex, to people with advanced prostate anti -what? cancer. Anti-what? You got to explain that. Anti-androgens, things that block testosterone. Okay. If we're blocking testosterone to treat prostate cancer that's advanced, that tells you something. They're like here's, a natural connection. Right, right. The there two. is a natural. And here's the, here's, the, here's the bottom line when it comes to the internist office. People are always saying to me, I want testosterone. I want to lose weight. I want more energy. I want my libido back. These are really legitimate, legitimate issues. And I will send people like that to urologists like Dr. Samadhi. But the bottom line is, as I said in the first segment, nothing's free in medicine. Be careful what you wish for, because we don't know for sure, but there may be a risk from okay. giving that testosterone. All right, so test your testosterone you test and first. look at your PSA. Great. Right. Thanks.